<laughs> well, you know, who knows where Rico will be in a week, but. Hmm? Some... What? <laughs> no, no I, what? I agree. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> he's not tweeting about it. Uh, no, he's not. No, it's I'm it Could be at Odyssey. Could be in New York somewhere else. So the different company that maybe he was at a week before. Who knows? Who's <laughs> no. to say? Wait, what? Who's to say? No. Who's to say? <laughs> That would, great, that would be great. That would be great news. <laughs> who's to say? Be, I love it. I don't know. Who's, yeah. who's to say? I I have hey, no idea. I'm and just, I'll say this. I'll throw the speculation out there. That's if all. that were the case, one guy in this room is safe. <laughs> that's true. You know? You're right. Yeah. You're right about that. <laughs> um, any anything notable in that Reddit thread or no? Anything that really you think, you think I read the Reddit thread? You didn't read it? Fuck no. I perused it. Well, open it up. What are you no. talking about? You didn't read it. Why I not? I didn't read it. I oh, got enough of it in my DMs. There's I knew a lot of interesting feedback in there. What's that? R word. Eh, we don't need that one. That yeah. was thrown about mm -hmm. a few times. A few times, yeah. yeah. Well, this isn't. And I uh, felt like in the medical. This isn't a very good show here. You know, we can't. No, no, no. But I, play too dirty. I here, think guys. it was in the medical know? medical set. Like people were concerned. Well, I you do. I, I've said this before. I think Dave was the last kid, and in a different generation, they would have just been like, "Well, you know, we should probably, you know, remove his brain and right. just let him wander around." <laughs> I think lobotomized might have been thrown yeah. out in there as well. well I think oh, that's okay. happened. Mike seemed to have a good time on this thread. Thread. Oh, Mike is. Mike, it's my job, Dave. Take care of it, guy's a professional. You it's should my be job. It. Well, give me a couple, Dave. That may, may, maybe is there any, just just for self reflection, you should be doing that. Uh, Dave's only redeeming quality is that he's an idiot. Uh, his stupidity caused him to say ridiculous things like this. Uh, love Will Compton and Rear Ad standing up for those guys. Uh, Great one, Dave. That's... He's, a, he's a complete re moron. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Jesus, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, his mother did drink heavily while she was pregnant with That's him. That's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you had the tape a little later than Craig usual. Craig said it ain't going to be a little later. Uh -huh. And he goes, things are really blowing up over here. Whoa. And I said, what? He goes, just look at the feet. Yeah, so look, at your, look at your text messages right now. So I go to Twitter. And I don't see anything. It's one from you, Dave. Just blew up my phone. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> thank you. Well, <laughs> what was that, Jerry? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Well, <laughs> Long time Newsmax correspondent, uh -huh. Jerry Kelly. Wait, 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 are you breaking news right now on the show? Well, unfortunately, I am. Ooh. Because mm. as a journalist, I'm supposed to report this because it's yeah, out this there. Is your, this is your job. But it was not supposed to be out there until tomorrow. One second. Jerry, before we break this news, do you have anything you want to say or object or anything? Well, my thoughts are it's one little Jay, battle. Turn it down a little bit. <laughs> That's fine, Jerry. Any other thoughts? Well, my thoughts are it's one little battle and a larger war, and I think... Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so they were very up in arms because Newsmax changed the feed to say Newsmax uh -huh. before it was officially announced. Well, what was announced, Mike? It's a Newsmax podcast. I'm looking at this right now. Dave just said this to me. This is the one where Jerry has his arms crossed and he's kind of looking. Although there is nothing behind him that suggests he's a fan of the United States of America. That, <laughs> that's that's, that's Which a, is a change. Shame. Yeah. Oh. The Jerry Callahan show, Newsmax Radio. Yes. So, is it a podcast or is it a show? <laughs> so yeah. Jerry will just be plug and play the Jerry Callahan show. Bam, right in there. Yes. It's, not like, it's not like a lineup. I don't, we don't know. We don't know. Well, what are we doing here? No, I think yeah. it's just the podcast. We don't have the news. Yeah. This is, you know, I just saw I the change my, on Apple. Who is on Newsmax oh, Radio? Put it this way. It's th in the same way that you are a uh, Barstool Sports podcast. Ah. I think, oh, okay. right? Oh, so Jerry will be doing like yeah, but why trivia with call? like other right wingers. Yeah, he's going to go on the rundown. And, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see this guy, Rob Carson, but I don't know. Oh, he's my niche category right now. <laughs> now. <laughs> Let's double dip it. Who else is on there? Who else is on there? I see a Rob Carson show. Uh-huh. Uh, that's all I see. I don't see like a schedule. I just see that he's affiliated with it. The bottom. Rob Carson is the newest sensation on talk radio, which also means would mean that Rush was the newest sensation in talk radio, which was like 35 years ago. Well, the okay. kids all remember. They go, They have Rush Even launches. President Trump, Mike, has said that Rob is the funniest guy ever. Why? <laughs> because Rob Carson delivers the truth with humor. And you will find out by listening to the Rob Carson show. Rob is skyrocketing in ratings across America because he believes in what, Mike? Freedom? Close. What does he believe in? Truth. Maybe, but, but what else? America. Damn right. All right. <laughs> he believes in America and you. What is going on with this great country? Joe Biden can't complete a sentence. A major war is broken out in Europe. An invasion is taking place at our border. Inflation is soaring. Now Rob Carson wants to fire back with his voice, with his facts, and 
with his deadly but funny one-liners. <laughs> <laughs> do you think Rob Carson will? Do you think Rob Carson saw the the Diet Coke skit and said, "Let's get Jerry Callahan," or is like a humorist, like That's a writer? Funny. Adam, get me Jerry's number. <laughs> I could see that. I could see that. So let me hear a little bit of Robbie Carson. We've got it is finally Friday, 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 Friday. Hello and uh, and welcome to it. Hold on a second. I you know what? Oh this. boy, he is funny. <laughs> oh boy. I because you said he presents the truth in a humorous fashion, and the way he said Friday, I bet it was Friday. Uh, but it still kind of made me laugh. It has to be on Friday, yeah. I think. Well, I'm it's Rob Carson. <laughs> Go ahead. Quick, I, uh, hold on, I just got something weird going on here, I guess, physically and mentally. Hold on. This is what it feels like to be aneurysm? vindicated, I guess. <laughs> There's so nothing. I, I have no more confidence in knowing that this was going to, he was going to sound like that. And it was going to be awful. Like there was, I, I, I couldn't have, I could have bet my life that I was about to hear what I just heard. My life. Did you stumble upon him having a clip of a, like a mental breakdown or something? No, he's vindicated <laughs> over something. I'm going to guess he's vindicated over something that the left did that was stupid. Okay. S3, and uh, despite the fact that you are being shouted down as a conservative in every way, shape, or form, and you're <laughs> You are correct, I, sir. Hi, <laughs> oh. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Joe Biden, Barack Obama, <laughs> and Hollywood. They could do Karnak. It would make sense. Oh, definitely. Yeah, could, <laughs> as I'm saying, you could do it. This guy also sounds like he's holding back a sneeze. Like he's like, oh, oh, oh I'm just about to that let it go. That voice is fucking got to be so exhausting to go through life with. I don't have an opinion. Why did this year a Webster's Dictionary decide to make gaslighting the word of the year? You know why? Because uh, uh, we have been played. We have been played by a cabal. And I have said, in, 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 what is one of my favorite expressions? You're thinking, oh, don't get so stupid. No, that's not it. Uh, they would, uh, oh, oh, I know what it is. Uh, Ironhead, get me Gus. media, <laughs> social media, and the Democrat Party all say that what you say is disinformation. It means that you know the truth. Oh, hold on a second. Is somebody baking up some uh, delicious, delicious vindication? I, I'll have I couldn't, a, a I couldn't spend 30 <laughs> like seconds in a room with this guy. I like guy. this guy. <laughs> I couldn't spend 10 seconds alone with this because he's like this off the air, too. Right. Yep. Imagine, if Jerry, I want Jerry to, imagine if Jerry just got a voice like that all of a sudden. <laughs> Oh, it's uh, I, can't, I, can't, I can't do a combination of the two. It's impossible. <laughs> oh, hell. <laughs> vindicate. We're serving up vindication today. <laughs> there you go. I got an idea. Stupid Petrix. Hello, David. Hello. David, this is Sebastian. Hello, Sebastian. Now, you don't know me. I certainly know you, and I don't quite know how to say this, but I'll just come out and say it. David, I had sex with your father. Wait a minute. Hold on. You had sex with Big Jack Colnane, Sebastian? Wow. That's a bombshell. It was 1992. 1992. We were at a construction ex expo in Reno, Nevada. Yeah, that checks out. Jack and I fell in love that day. Uh -huh. Oh, man. At least it's love. Yeah, that's true. Go ahead. How, ex describe the sex to me. David's father loves digging. Let's just say the only thing that was digging was me inside of his asshole that uh, night. Boy. That's nice. Great graphic. David, your father doesn't return my calls. Oh. Why do you think that is? I like this guy. <laughs> and then look, if, if if Mutt came to me and was like, look, you know, I'll come in here once in a while, but I'll have a horse racing thing and I'll do gambling in Massachusetts. I'd go to, I mean, I'll go to Portland no matter what. Whatever Mutt wants me to do, I'll do it. Right. I'd love to have him in. Whenever he wants to come in, that seat is, whenever he wants it, the seat is open. He's a great, he's a great, I think I, as I tweeted last night, he's one of my best friends legitimately. He's the first guy I ever did a radio show with ever in 2009, ever. I didn't know anything. I walked in, I've said this story, it was me and Mutt on the weekend. Joe Zarbano was producing. I didn't know what the red, I didn't know what the cough button was. I didn't know anything. I went to Papa Gino's after it. I didn't know him. Rob was out. I was filling in for Rob that day. We had lunch. He was great. We stayed in touch after that. 2010, we started doing a bunch of shows on the weekends for like about a year until he got the job in the middays. He was great. He taught me. Like he didn't teach me what you're hearing now from a talent perspective. Mutt didn't have that. But I mean, he's not talented. Right. But he taught me how to like, you know, he, but he was also a guy I could just talk to. He could talk about the business. We could talk about this. If I had the question, he'd answer it. He's just the greatest guy. Like he's legitimately, and I saw Jerry tweet this last night, one of the nicest guys you know that, Mike, you'll ever meet in your life, ever. There were tears, mostly mine. It was, hold I on, think, hold one on, of the... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
I know it's 2023 or whatever. Are you a, are you a fucking man? What are you talking about? <laughs> he was weeping. What are you fucking talking I'm about? I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's Brandis and the Godfather. Act like a man. Jesus <laughs> Christ. God. So that's that. Yeah, it's it was just incredibly difficult after all the work that went into Who it. Who is this asshole? That's producer Dan, I think. Do you know him or something? No, I don't. I have no idea. <laughs> fucking moron. He's probably going to be doing the weather tomorrow. <laughs> don't, please don't be angry. Please yeah. don't be upset. It, oh, I'm angry. I want like this fucking weather. I, I, this is bullshit. How the fuck am I going to get the weather? How am I going to get the traffic? I'm fucking mad. I'm going to go outside. To, I'm going to go outside this morning, right? Fuck do I know it's cold. Hey, bitch. But take it, yeah. What the fuck, cunt? Do I, wear, down, do I wear a yeah. coat today or yeah. not? What the fuck? What the fuck, Carson? Who's the guy? Kennedy. Producer. Kennedy's the guy? Yeah. No. Producer Dan. Oh, no, Kennedy, no, Kennedy, I'm sorry. The girl. The, Carson is the guy. Producer I'm Dan, sorry. you crying cunt bag. <laughs> like, what the hell? Kennedy, I'm already in my car, but should I run back in and grab a jacket? It's, it's a hard day. It's, se it's 7 seven thirty in the morning. I'm having a 93 in Boston. Seem clear today or not? <laughs> is there an accident somewhere? Is there an accident? Producer Cunt. That is Dan's name. I decided from now on. Jesus Christ. So yeah. please don't be upset, guys, and please don't be mean. Don't be upset. I'm going to be upset Our and mean because something horrible happened. You're saying it's terrible and you're right. We have to find these people. Who were they? They must have done some tests oh, on the mean, air with you them. You mean uh, Alexis? Who? Alexis? Let me hear Alexis. We have Alexis in. Good morning, Alexis. Good morning. <laughs> Hold on. What is everyone laughing at? What is everyone laughing at? Why am I always the last one to find? Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'd love to laugh like that. Why can't, why can't my... When I say good morning to Mike, it's just like a fucking lump of oatmeal. You don't say it funny like that. That's true. <laughs> Let me hear it again. Morning, we have Alexis in. Good morning, Alexis. Good morning. <laughs> oh, Matt, which, one, which one is the woman who hates me? Oh, who you call me a doucher? Carson. That? I'm, uh, Kennedy. Kennedy. I keep Kennedy. doing that. Sorry. She is loving this. Yes. <laughs> Jeez, you lo huge laugh. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, so Alexis Cambridge. Okay. I did I was born in outside of LA, which oh, is okay. why I like hot things and being loud, but <laughs> Okay. And so how I old like were you cold things because I'm from here. <laughs> Does, <laughs> Does Kenny do anything else? <laughs> <laughs> she likes hot things. Like hot things? <laughs> I like cold things. We're so different. We come Does from Carson different take parts a of the world. Torch and just like, you know. <laughs> Jay, I don't understand. Today we're gonna have Debbie try ice. Yeah, I, don't, I don't really get it. Part of our wacky stunts. Debbie, okay, I'm just calling you right now. It's 42 degrees outside. <laughs> walk out there and tell us everything that you're feeling. Just walk us through the process. Yeah, we're uh, gonna have Debbie. We'll go outside without a jacket this morning. And <laughs> <laughs> so you should try. Like, what I'm trying to think. So she likes things hot. That's right. right. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm just trying As to... every Los Angeles native does. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Go ahead. Move to Cambridge. I was two years old. All right. I definitely, I feel like I was born here. I grew up here. I right. feel like I know everyone. I didn't know people. Why do you like hot things? Let me, let me get this Wait straight. She, <laughs> she, lived, she moved when she was two? It was just born in her? <laughs> Oh. What a torturous childhood. Every <laughs> snowfall. <laughs> she never went outside. She in the bubble. I don't even get it. Who Ma, likes, what is this stuff? Who likes hot? Like, I'm an LA gal. <laughs> they like, like, are her clothes like, like really like heated up? She just wears a bikini every day. There is nothing better than putting on like a sweatshirt after it just got out of the dryer though. Where are you from? Fucking Phoenix? <laughs> hot things like that? They'd be warm? people you know the the story you told me yeah so okay so i have to say that i'm a very extroverted person you probably i did not notice you probably have <laughs> okay she's <laughs> crazy <laughs> and i meet a lot of people and a lot of people get upset at me they get sort of mad especially my friends like because whenever we go somewhere i always meet someone like yeah mm -mm. yeah so like oh. small talk she can i just say kennedy mad. fucking sucks jesus is she awful why that's a huh? woman's job in radio to make noises <laughs> and agree. It's just so like mm. subservient. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> like, what, like, what are you? <laughs> yeah, why can't you do more of that? <laughs> Someone say I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. What was that sound you made all the time? Mm. <laughs> You've worked on that, I think. A little bit, yeah. 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 <laughs> These fucking people. Why? We. Uh, 
The show used to just be reacting to radio. So maybe I'll just do that again. It's just more fun. Why not? It's way easier. Yeah, you need a break from it, but you can always bring it back. It's true. <laughs> a lot of people say, Mike, that I'm an introvert. <laughs> what are you laughing at? People say it to me. <laughs> I know where this is going. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Mm. <laughs> I love that. that Kelly Savage is like, mm. like, she's, uh -huh. like she solved the case. Because whenever we go somewhere, I always meet someone like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why does she sound like annoyed by? Like, she's almost like, yeah, that that can happen. You have yeah. to say, the the woman. So she, what was that, Kennedy? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so when she goes somewhere, she meets a person. Oh. That's it's fucking crazy. That'd be great. If that was her story. <laughs> Christ. So, anyways, this girl's getting a train run on her. And, uh, uh -huh. mm. yeah. You're familiar with Bukaki, Kennedy. Good morning, boys. It's time for this week's episode of Who Has the Biggest Click? That's not oh, early. Right? We're using the first caller. Good morning, Click Guy. Well, I've been listening, and so we. The, <laughs> yeah, the story I feel from like Lexus, Debbie, and Iona <laughs> triggered a memory of mine. Was, yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> I was on a train to Cambridge. Uh -huh. I saw three girls. Three. Downtrod, crying, upset. 104.1 t-shirts on. And I went over. <laughs> Very smooth. They liked my swag and my sway. And I yeah. coaxed them back to my hotel room. Mm -hmm. That's nice. So <clears throat> I peeled off Debbie's pink backpack. Okay. <laughs> I All right. Didn't mess around with Debbie. Things oh. were going well. Sounds great. Off a little pin. How far did the wiffle ball back going? Well, that's ridiculous. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, we greased that thing up, Mike. You know that, but that's late. <laughs> uh, feeling. Yeah. I peeled off Debbie's panties and uh -huh. I started fingering her, and oh, kissing this, her a little this bit. Feels <laughs> Jesus, and then, really it's graphic and this, inappropriate. Kirk. Yeah. Listen to this, Kirk. Yeah, go ahead. Kirk. And then all of a sudden, her. Three and a half inch clip popped out, and guess what Alexis said? What was that? Good morning. Yeah, I, had I had a feeling. I had a feeling, yeah. yeah. Maybe I'm overreacting, but that attitude I can't get over. And I will say, I don't really, I like cons. I don't know them very well. Like, shit like that, uh, creating burner accounts to go after cons as family is fucking, ins like, yourself is insane. Yeah, that was new information today. Like, Well, that, I knew that. Yeah. But I mean, you know, like, uh, here, here's a, here's a, I will call this, uh, I'll do a bunch of these tips for Terrence. How's that, Dave? Going forward, okay? <laughs> yep. Tips for Terrence, I'll say. I just know it was Kanz's wife. He created this burner account. Was just dumping. Like, who fucking needs uh, that? Like, what are we fucking in, in your? I, I don't know. I wouldn't bring the guy back if I, that was the. I just wouldn't bring the guy back. But they, but Dan and Dave, Dave for all the people who give him shit is a nice guy with a good heart who wants to do well for Rico. And Dan is a, the nicest guy on earth. He's the sweetest guy on earth. So I get where they're coming from. I really do. But oh my god, I I don't I don't get it. I didn't know about that. Um. Now, and, and again, like I said, I don't dislike Rico, but let's not like take these like slights against me if you're him and don't, if I see one of these accounts, I am telling you, this, it's going to be fucking war. Just think if you, if you, if you have Mike's baby, if everything works out right, everything, the kid will be blind, sitting in the motel room in Mississippi, eating almonds by himself all day. That's every parent's if dream. If I were there, I would have taken him out and like explained, like smell the air. <laughs> smell the air? <laughs> You have How to, do you smell air? Well, you know, like trees and like. You what, gotta, what do you like, think? What do you think? He's never lived on Earth. I senses. think he would have, like, he would have come out of the hotel room if we <laughs> smell the air. Look at trees. He's blind. Yeah, like bring him places and describe it so he can partake. Oh, he, he seems to be the kind of guy. He would love that. He wouldn't have enough of that. <laughs> what do you think? He just didn't. He just didn't want to go to look like, at this a bar over here. Fans. That's a Wendy's. Look at that. Smell it. <laughs> you know where we went? Where do you think we were? They don't have Gr parks. Grand like Canyon. I, we were. <laughs> You to bring him to downtown. Where was the breakfast place? What town was that? Oh, Macomb, right? Yeah, downtown yeah. Macomb, <laughs> which is the most depressing town in the history of America. You could describe that in detail so you could really You get could, that. yeah. He gets a, gets a sense of, well, that's a good point. Hi, Kirk. It's Clemmer. How are you? Hey, Chris. How you doing, buddy? It's been a boy. How long has it been, Dave? A <sighs> long time. It's been since you violently kicked him out of the uh, Wilbur. He <laughs> was, was on the list. I was wondering if you wanted to play a quick game. Uh, sure. Yeah, mm. I, miss, oh, yeah wow. I miss those Clemmer games. Yeah. Were you a Clemmer fan or not? Awesome. Well, I was. Yeah, not anymore? No. No. Go ahead, buddy. All right. So the game is, can you name a movie? Kirk, can you name a movie? Can I name any film? Can you name a movie? The Untouchables. 
Good job. I won. Thank you. Oh, he's out. That was it? That was the game. Oh, geez. It's better than that baseball card game. I want to play the music. Which one was that? that? When he like brought in baseball cards oh, and it was like... Right. What was who, the point of the game? He said it was, was like... Was the best player or something? Who has the best like player in their deck? <laughs> Idiot. Like, <laughs> Absolute And then he ate moron. the gun. He did like a starting lineup review yesterday. Did you see that video? Can I tell you how my brain works though? Like I don't hate him as much as I used to. I figured. You're like that with lots of people. I know. Right? I'm a sweetheart at the end of the day. <laughs> I figured. You know what, Dave? There may be a path of redemption with Clumber. There's a path? There may be a path. Oh, nice. Because when Rico now moves, I, it's almost like I, I focus my attention on somebody else. Although then I think about, then I, if you remind me of why I hate Clumber, I'll hate him again. Yeah. I, I thought Rico was like a guy, like I thought he knew movies. He knows nothing about movies. It was stunning. I was shocked. Yeah, he 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 knows he knows his movies. Yeah, like four movies. Well. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you're right. You and I would be talking and be like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe it'll be over again. Nominated for sure. Yeah, yeah. Tony Kushner wrote that too. And then Rico would be like, yeah, you know, like, you know, I don't know. Be in the check and fry. I think she's gonna get like sixty grand for that appearance. <laughs> <laughs> And you'd be, and I'd be like, "Yeah, that's tough, man." But you know what? There's nothing you can do about that, Rico. And then Jeff would be like, "Jeff would be like, yeah, did you see Tar?" I was like, "Oh man, Cape Blanchet." And Rico would be, like, and Rico would be like, "Yeah, you know, uh, the, that guy's still on my no fly list." You know, I don't know. <laughs> and you'd be like, "Well, all right." I, I, yeah, that's a, that's such a great point. I never thought it's true. There's and three I didn't people. Think of it either, but what's we, funny is he was on the other side of the table too. So it was like it was almost like. It's true. Well, cause we were, I referenced you on our show because we were talking about Spielberg and we were talking about the ending for Fablemans. And we were, I was like, actually, I was at lunch with Kirk. And he was mentioning, like, you know, like, no matter how good the movie is, Kirk was like, Spielberg just can't help himself. But then in my head, I didn't say it on the bottom time. I'm like, like we were having this conversation amidst, like, talking him <laughs> off the ledge about some some intern who, like, walked by him. It's like, it was just the most, it was a fascinating lunch. Yeah, Rico's like, yeah, you wonder why that guy had a camera, huh? I wonder why. I'm like, I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, I'm, I've been, like, institutionalized, and I don't know what, you, I don't know what you're talking about. And, and, and we kept saying to him, like, there's not, that, that's the problem. I like the guy. I ripped him this morning. I get mad. Things, things upset me. I like Rico. I want Rico to do well. But I just, that lunch is what I think about all the time. I'm like, this guy cannot. Yep. There's just no way. There's no way. He's not built like that. Oh, yeah. It'd be, yeah, it'd be like, uh, <laughs> Jeff would be like, you think Jamie Lee Curtis is going to get nominated? I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. How about Kelly Martin, huh? How about her? What's she doing to me? <laughs> and telling no lies. That's the funniest part of this. Like, this is, it's so funny. Like, I actually, I wish of any conversation I've had privately in the last two, three years, that I recorded. wish that one was filmed. That would be a great episode. <laughs> that would be a great episode of uh, on, on YouTube. <laughs> I watch that. I hate watching myself. I watch that every day because it was literally like it was almost like at one point our backs were almost turned. Like we were just trying, and I felt bad because he's because he's like, he means like this is he's really going through this stuff. But there's nothing you could do to help him. No. Oh my god. <laughs>